Good day everyone! Welcome to our first lesson, Introduction to African Literature. Good day people! Are you ready? Let's all explore! Hi, I'm Mr. Gerald Abermas, an English teacher from the Philippines. We are currently exploring the different literature of Africa. Can you help us? Good day, Mr. Gerald. I am very much willing to help you and your students in the Philippines. African literature, the body of traditional and oral and written literatures in Afro Asiatic and African languages, together with works written by Africans in European languages. Really? So, what are the different literary genres of African literature? Definitely. Well, basically, we have written and oral literatures. What's the difference between written and oral literature? The relationship between oral and written traditions, and in particular between oral and modern written literatures, is one of great complexity and not a matter of simple evolution. What's the role of storytelling in preserving African literature? This is the storyteller's art. To mask the past, making it mysterious, seemingly inaccessible. But it is inaccessible only to one's present intellect. It is always av available to one's heart and soul, one's emotions. What are the subgenres of oral and written literature? No, Mr. Gerald, in Africa we have tale, heroic, poetry, and epic. Would you mind to explain each? Well, imagery is the main instrument that shapes a tale. In the simplest of tales, a model is established, and then it is repeated in an almost identical way. As in heroic poetry or panegyric, the lyric and image come into their most obvious union. History is more clearly evident in panegyric, but it remains fragmented history rejoined according to the poetic intentions of the bard. Epic may be built around a genealogical system, with parts of it developed and embellished into a story. The epic, like the heroic poem, contains historical references such as plays, names, and events. In the heroic poem, these are not greatly developed. So that's basically the overview of our literature, Mr. Gerald. I hope your learners will be more inspired to study our culture, traditions, and practices reflected in our literature. Thank you, Anna. I love African literature. I hope my learners would love and appreciate it too. Hi class, I'm back! I hope you have enjoyed our journey to Africa and its literature. Buckle up for more African adventures!